Hello and welcome back! I am Scalord, and today we're going to be going over another Terraria Guide video. Today we're going to be going over the top 5 best melee weapons pre-hard mode. Stick around till the end to figure out what my rankings are and to see if you agree with me or not. Coming in at number 5, we have the Beekeeper. This is a very fast sword that summons killer bees after striking your foes and has a small chance to cause confusion. The Beekeeper is nice because it will hit up to 3 targets, but as you can see here, it's doing some pretty nice damage at about 460 to 480. Coming in at number 4, we have the Blue Moon. This is dropped from gold chests inside the dungeon. It has a very nice auto swing feature, which if done, will give you a small area of effect, which will deal about 12 to 1300 DPS. The Blue Moon can also be shot in a straight line, hitting up to 10 targets. This will deal about 16 to 1700 DPS per second. There are not going to be very many situations to where you're going to be able to hit 10 targets. However, it still does a considerable amount of damage, and being that you can cast it at a distance, will help you with ranged enemies as well. Coming in at number 3 we have the Dark Lance. This is a fast spear that pierces through 7 targets at once. It'll leave a flame debuff on the enemy as well. The spear can be found inside a shadow chest that are in the underworld. For this you will need to get a shadow key which can be found in the dungeon inside of the gold chest. This spear certainly deals a lot of damage to a lot of enemies ground and air very quickly. However if you get an enemy that has a little bit more health you're gonna notice it's probably not your first choice. Coming in at number two, we have the Sun Fury. This is another flail that works in a similar manner as the Blue Moon, but as you can see, it does considerably more damage because it leaves a fire debuff as well. The only thing that's kind of annoying with this weapon is the small radius of the auto swing. This means you can easily get outflanked from multiple directions and eventually you'll take too many hits and you'll run out of health. Coming in at number one, we got the Knight's Edge. This sword got a massive boost in the 1.4 update. This weapon has a really nice auto swing feature it deals a crazy amount of damage and it has a really good knockback as well not to mention the arc that spins in a 360 will keep you safe on all directions and it'll keep you easily safe without getting flanked as well this sword is easily crafted by combining a blade of grass with a Muramasa, with the volcano with a light spain or a blood butcher depending on what you have in your world at a demon or crimson altar if the knight's edge is your number one sword in pre-hard mode let me know in the comments below make sure to join my discord channel which there is a link in the description below. But it doesn't end here. Make sure to watch my video on how I defeated the Deerclops on Master Mode and how I crafted the Knight's Edge in Terraria. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.